Hey everybody, Richter Knives, your favorite knife tuber, episode number 61, and today we're going to talk about stuff. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to show you what's in my pockets today. Um, we're going to start off with the Lord's Drink, Dr. Pepper, of course. And if you ain't got that, what you got? Yeah, buddy. All right, let's start with the knife today. This is... PM2. Love the PM2. Love the Ergos. Uh, it took me a long time to get one of these. I really didn't know if I wanted it. I was like enamored with the bug out forever. And uh, I really, you know, finally just got this thing and I wanted to get the one because there's so many of them. There's like 11 choices. But I wanted the one for me. I think this is it. Um, the Maximate steel because you know I like the teeners this has started to get a light teener and I want it to happen naturally I'm not trying to force anything you can see a little spots on it but I'm cool with that it's a user it's just about time to sharpen it I've used so much of it that uh and I've stropped it so much that edge is just just about ready for a sharpening. It'll still cut hair, but it's not, you know, where I want it to be. I just really haven't had time with uh, the work, the full-time job, and the leather work, and the yard work, and the housework, and the, all the work. And uh, but I love this thing. It's going to get sharpened here pretty soon. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't hold me to the fire about it. Calm down. It'll get done. All right. What else? Here's my other knife that I'm carrying today. I showed this a few times. I did, a un, did I do an unboxing? I don't remember. I don't even know anymore. I'm starting to feel presidential. Um... This slip I made, this is like the original R slip. This, I think this is the first one I ever put my R on. And it's, I picked that leather out because I wanted the scar across there. I seen that scar on the leather and I'm like, oh dude, that's so cool. Got to have that on the front. And you can tell by the shininess and the way that it is, it's had a lot of wear, a lot of use. old school fits my sod buster jr just right let's see what's in there sod buster jr just like i said cross cut micarta lanyard hole which i need to get a lanyard for maybe i just dropped it and that's cool right there on the corner where i'm supposed to drop it that's gorgeous huh brass hardware Yep. And she centered strike right down the middle. Half stops. Did you hear that? Boom. That is so satisfying. I could probably sit here and just do this all day. I did put an edge on this. It didn't have an edge when I got it. And she's sticky. Fruit roll-up sticky. Um, that's cherry flavor. Sticky. Bitey. All the stuff. But she's got a force teener on her. Came that way. From the factory. Well, the aftermarket factory anyway. This is Box Creek's. Box Creek Knife Company. And the fella's name is Patrick. He done this for me. And, uh, and for y'all that, that got all upset with me about, you know, hey, you should have got a cheap knife and sent to him. The, uh, the bone was cracked, man. I love that chestnut bone. And this, this was a CV chestnut bone knife. And I really love that knife. Well, this is the same knife. I love it still. But um, if you're going to fix the chip on your bone why not fix it like this 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anywho, we're five minutes into this. Let's get to something else. What else is in my pocket? Car key. This is my Buds 2. And immediately these cases, when you put them in your pocket, they start gathering all the blue from your jeans. And it's crazy to me. Anyways, I like these. I like the shape of them. The only gripe I have about these is it's so thick in my pocket. Oh, I hate thickness in my pockets. But they're so functional. Uh, I like them. I like the way they sound. I like the way um, they fit in my ear. I like, you know, having no cords coming out of my ear balls. So that's pretty neat. It's got the blue teeth. I like it. And copper zippo. Oh yeah. Oh, the, it's windy, but that's fine. But you see the teeners on that. It's got the reds, the blues, the oranges, the browns, the schnozberries. All right there for you to see. Zippo. Made in the greatest country in the history of the world. Copper Zippo. Now, I've had brass Zippos, but as soon as I seen this thing, I had to have it. Uh, the very first day I had it, it got dropped and dented. And I was like, well, let's start the character for Pete's sake. Might as well. I need some fluid. Anywho, I don't smoke anything like that. I just like fire. What if a guy has to have fire? There it is, right there in my pocket. Fire in my pocket. Can't beat that. Uh, also got the flashlight to match. This is copper as well. Um, trying to make all my EDC match. Now, I know if you find one of these in copper, let me know. Probably ain't gonna happen. Anywho, this is the Meritech AAA. And I really like this thing. The pocket clip's okay. Uh, it hasn't fallen out of my pocket. It hasn't done any weird stuff. It works every time. It takes one AAA. And not those fancy kind of batteries. This is just a regular Energizer Bunny or the Durama cells. And you just twist it like so. And then twist it again. And it changes lumens. Woo. I didn't mean to blind you there. Sorry about that. But I'm digging this. It's so small. That's what I want. I don't want no big old huge round thing in my pocket uh, for a flashlight. That's just, to me, it's, I don't like the bulk. I like small stuff in my pockets. I want to still be able to fit my hand in my pocket. You know what I mean? And not, uh, I can't, you know, you know what I'm saying. But I like that. This and this is, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I like it. And they're they're uh inexpensive. This one I wanna say gosh, did I pay like oh I hate to say what I paid now because I don't remember. But I remember it being pretty inexpensive, like maybe forty bucks, thirty something ish. Uh yeah. Four yeah. Then this I paid sixty for a zippo that was copper and I don't know if you noticed it has the black insert ain't never seen one of those in my life but it's pretty cool it's wearing pretty cool it's got let's see see if you're wondering about how it starts looking after a while that's how it starts looking can't beat that and then round it all off got my pen this is the refine let's see if i can get you to see if i stop hitting my camera Ref come on come on refine it's a bolt action and uh that's pretty neat i could probably sit around and click a this thing all day 
long. I like the pocket clip. Only thing, only gripe about this is, and I, it's really not even a gripe, is I just need to tighten this a little bit. That screw comes loose every now and then. I probably just need to put some blue Loctite in there and be dead with it. But I like the teeners it's getting. And you can see underneath that pocket clip where it's kind of copperish, purpley. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of heft to it, which I like in my pins. Not if I'm going to write all day, but this is not a write all day pen. This is just, you know, I got a pen on me. Hey, you got a pen? Yo, got a pen. There it is. There you go, feller. I got to write little notes and stuff here and there at work. Sign things. My John Hancock. And what else do I have for you? Hmm, that's my whole... Oh yeah, I got that. It says 20, but it'll be 25 next month. That's a long time for a guy. And then, oh yeah, I got my wallet. This is the Open Sea Top Sider. And I want you to check out the teeners on that, even though my light's going weird on me. There's some, uh, got a dollar bill in there. There's some, uh, construction going on over yonder i don't know if you hear it or not but they're tearing down trees and putting in a pond and i don't know something for skeeters to eat me alive but i love this wallet i don't think i'll ever have a different wallet than an open sea if you go check out his website he's uh i believe active duty navy still so that's cool support that guy and his leather work he does awesome work and i'm sure most edc folks if you've been around a while you've seen these he's got the hobe i believe it's called and it's like one more piece of leather on here and you get another pocket and a backside card thing so this i don't want to carry that much that's about as thick as i want my wallet to be because i back pocket carry my wallet and I don't want it heavy and I don't want it all that stuff. So love my wallet. So one more look around the knives. Because this is a knife channel, believe it or not. Sodbuster Jr. Snappiness. And there we go. PM2. Love that. Golly. All right, y'all. I'll uh, just remind you, if you're not subscribed, check and see if you are right down there. And then push that little red button that says SUB. However you spell it. And like the video if you like it. Share it. Tell your mama. Tell your crush. Tell your barber. About Richter knives, and um, hey, we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget. Oh, wait, 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 wait. For you, hey, don't hang up. I want to tell you, Dooms Crew Outdoors is almost at a thousand. I think he's real close to nine hundred. Let's get him over that thousand mark. If you're not subscribed to him, please go do that. If you're subscribed to me and you like my channel, I think you'll love his channel. He's got shotguns. And knives. He's a real case knife dude. A uh, really cool channel. I've been friends with him for a long time now. Um, and very cool channel. I like watching all his videos. I think you will too. Uh, so head over there to Dooms Crew Outdoors. You'll love that channel. Anywho. So we'll see you later. This is my PM2, my ADC dump. And Richter, out.